she is back she is back we have to catch up i feel weird right now i literally feel weird because i never film sit down videos anymore and i feel like so much has happened but also like not that much but like literally so much i feel like i'm living in a different timeline a different life um but i'm like wait i have a youtube channel and some people still want to watch my videos hello mrs may would you like to say hello she looks so, so crazy right now. She looks like Chewbacca. But we have an appointment for her to get groomed. So I'm so excited for that. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi, boo boys? You wanna say hi, boo boys? Oh, it's me, boo boys. She looks crazy. But I will definitely post pictures of her when she's all groomed next week, right before we go to EDC because she's going to her puppy hotel. So she has to be fresh and clean for all of her puppy friends. And so she feels extra good when she's away from us for like a few days. Honestly crying. Well, that's an update to start with. So there's quite a few updates to start with. Okay, I was gonna start with EDC, but I feel like I always start with rave stuff. Yeah, so a lot of things have happened, I feel like in the last few months. And I haven't done a sit down video really since I moved into this new apartment. I showed you guys like briefly in a recent vlog, just like around the place it's really small it's just like a smaller version of my last place basically but ever since we moved just life has gotten so much better and I've just literally been not stressed at all I've not been feeling like I have to do things that I don't want to do for money and stuff like that and um and in my feminine energy bitch for real shortly after we moved in I was just having fun with friends I was doing a lot of fun stuff I was like kind of trying to figure out wedding stuff uh, we didn't know what time of the year we wanted to do it but turns out with a few things just to make sure everything works out with scheduling we're gonna be doing it more in like early fall late summer so we are gonna be getting married this year we decided on eloping for sure which is like not a surprise to anybody I'm not really a wedding gal I'm not a wedding activity kind of gal thinking about myself in wedding scenarios makes me want to literally crawl in a hole like just you know the little things that you have to do for a wedding you have to make speeches you have to like dance you have to like do your vow like I literally could not do my vows in front of anyone like that's not happening so like I I don't know why I'm like this I just feel like I'm not someone that deals with stress very well like at all like even a little bit of stuff like if I have one thing on my to-do list I stress out obviously I always have a lot of things on my to-do list so I'm always in a state of stress so it's like adding a wedding onto it is like literally my worst nightmare but it looks like we're gonna do San Diego and like I'm just gonna invite my closest friends and family so that's gonna be really really fun so sometime later this year and like I'll totally try to vlog that day I guess I don't know maybe I totally will but it's just gonna be like so simple and so cute and so so fun. Do you like my shirt? It says Italia. That's me. I'm a lot of other things too, but we'll rock this. Now when I start to think about it and I'm like, okay, I'm getting serious about starting to make like a list of people I would invite, it starts to grow and grow and then I'm like, wait, I have other friends in San Diego that I love and that would probably totally want to come and that they've invited me to their wedding and things like that. So I'm like, fuck, wait, like this is how people get such big guest lists at their weddings because it's like you start, oh, okay, I'll do my closest friends and family and then it just spirals you know and you guys the literal cutest thing happened to me ever last month my best friends emily and kayla i feel like i've talked about them so much recently like we've obviously gone through stages in our life where we weren't as close and we were doing other things with our life but that doesn't mean we weren't like friends and locked in it just means we were kind of on our separate journeys here and there during our lives we met when we were children in elementary school so this last like weekend so 4 20 <laughs> this was a saturday I show up to a surprise engagement party for Seb and I put on by Emily and Kayla. This, this was the little board that they had like when you walked in. Welcome to Olivia and Sebastian's engagement party, you guys. Excuse me, excuse me. And they put everything together for us. There was the most delicious cake I've ever had in my entire life, delicious cookies. There was wings from Epic Wings, which I don't really know where all the locations are, but there's like a few in Orange County. Every time there's a party that they have, they always have wings and it's like our favorite thing ever because they're the best wings you could ever have in your entire life. We had those there, we had salad, and then all my close friends and family were there and it was so cute. It was so cute. They like rented out a studio for us, like Seb knew about it, but I didn't. So they needed Seb to basically like trick me, so I thought we were going to like a fancy dinner. So I dressed up thinking we we're going to a fancy dinner and we show up at this place and then we open like all these gifts. I'm just not the kind of person to be like, come to my party and get me gifts. I don't know why I'm like that. Like I, I just feel like I don't want to stress anybody out and like I know what it's like like many times in my life to go through like financial stress and like having to buy a bunch of gifts for people like it stresses me out, you know? 
else. So like I don't want to ever do that to anybody else, whether they're in a good financial position or not. And I feel like that's like kind of why. But everyone just like did so many cute things and I got like a really sentimental gift. Um, I got a really useful gift that I use every day. It's like a new coffee cup that says wifey on it. And they're like, not yet, but almost. You're so close. And then I got, we got like a bunch of money. So it was awesome. And that's just the engagement party that I didn't plan or was planning to have. So we got like all this extra stuff and love and like got to spend time with the family for a few hours. I just wasn't expecting that in a million years and like just the way that they love me is crazy. And like to be loved by friends that much is just beautiful. Like I, I still don't know who paid for it. I'm assuming Emily and Kayla. I couldn't have been cheap. I'm just emo. And yeah, so that's the tea. I just went to the cutest engagement party for myself. And then on top of that, we're kind of doing like EDC this year because we really weren't planning on going. And then last minute it came possible for us to go to EDC. So we are going to EDC now. We're doing Airbnb and we are doing just the regular like Rio shuttles. We're not doing VIP this year because that was pretty pricey too. It was like the cost of our entire rent just for two VIP tickets. So that wasn't gonna happen, but we got we still got GA plus which I feel like is like pointless But it was the only one that was left so we went for GA plus over the VIP So if you're going to EDC and you've been watching my recent EDC vlog because I've been noticing it's been getting a ton of views Enjoy VIP have fun I saw a few people comment that they're doing VIP because of that video and I'm so happy for you It really is a vibe. I'm just so excited for EDC this year. The lineup is so much better than last year I think I am gonna vlog it. I don't really know, but I think I am gonna vlog it Um, so get ready for that. I think Kayla is texting me. So yeah, those are some really nice life updates. EDC is like in two weeks from today we leave, which is so crazy. And that's from when I'm filming this. When this goes up, probably be so much closer to EDC. So look out for that vlog. Follow me on social media, Instagram, all of that. I have really cute outfits this year. I just, I feel like life is so good lately. Early the next morning. First thing I need to talk about, this is the next morning. And I just had to talk to you because this. This coffee, bitches. This is my favorite cup in the entire world, and it literally says wifey on it, which is me soon. And I've never had, like, a glass coffee cup like this. Like, you guys always see in my videos, I'm using, like, that plastic orange or pink cup with, like, a reusable straw. This is game-changing, you guys. I get excited to have my morning coffee every day. Also, sorry, I'm breaking out. I have, like, two really huge breakouts on my face, whatever. Am I gonna have acne until I'm 50? Maybe, I don't know. This is my new coffee routine, okay? And it's cheaper than anything I've ever told you guys about before. Juan Valdez instant coffee. Juan Valdez, okay? I knew Juan Valdez was gonna come through. I literally was telling everyone, I was like, I'm gonna try this. I'm not happy with my iced coffee. Like, my Keurig at home, it's, like, really watery. It's not strong. Like, I was getting really used to Vietnamese coffee which is like super strong coffee and so like my Keurig coffee wasn't doing it for me anyways I was like I have to try something new and like people hate on instant coffee it's cheap it's quick like whatever I feel like people think it's like not that good bro when I tell you if you are a coffee lover my routine is so good it's the best morning iced coffee routine you could possibly freaking get Juan Valdez you do one giant scoop in a cup of water I do maybe like this much of water in like a mug I don't know I just guesstimate honestly every day. You don't have to heat the water. So you can literally just put it in regular cold water. You just mix that in. It takes two freaking seconds. You pour it over ice and then you add your milk and creamer. It's so easy, you guys. Like I'm so happy. I'm such a coffee connoisseur. Like you don't even know. What I put in it though is I found unsweetened Oatly because I love Oatly and I love oat milk, but I don't love the sugars in it. And I know Oatly isn't super healthy. Honestly, all the stuff I put in this is like not healthy, but like it's low sugar whatever you know so i do unsweetened oatly i do like a good amount of that however much you want and then i use my toasted marshmallow and my sugar-free creamer that i've talked about like so many times and it changed the game you guys it literally makes my life like i live for my morning coffee i live for it you don't understand so anyways what else did I do yesterday? We went to Gelato Paradiso in Laguna Beach. So we go in, behind the counter are like two guys and they're super nice and they're chatting us up. And I told Kayla, I was like, I'm buying your ice cream. She does so much for me, like literally financially. She gets her ice cream first, we take her pictures and then I obviously put my card in and the guy's like super nice, whatever. So we took her pictures. I paid for Kayla's ice cream and then we came back for mine. Once I got to the register, the guy said, it's on the house. Like literally all that ran through my head was like, don't worry about it it's on the house really like that was literally me I was like are you serious 
literally like made my whole day like something so simple as like a few dollar ice cream can just like make someone's day if you tell them that it's free and lately i don't know what it is i feel like this is the start of my lucky girl month I'm a Taurus rising, it's Taurus season, and I don't know, I've just been getting so lucky, like, it's honestly crazy. And there's so many things I, like, don't share and talk about lately that have happened, and just, like, in the last few years, and it's just, like, I, I literally live a whole different life than I lived a few years ago. Also, isn't my hair getting, like, long? This is my real hair. But yeah, it was a great day, and then I came home, and I took Kelly out on, like, a big walk. I'm just chilling today, I'm gonna watch some Disney stuff, I'm, like, obsessed with Disneyland right now. I need to go to Disneyland, I need Disneyland passes again, I need to go every single day, I am a obsessed with it right now all i want to do in the summertime is drink hard teas go to disneyland and go to festivals that's it that's what happens when the summer weather comes and of course the beach i'm actually going to the beach tomorrow so i have a really good weekend ahead the next day we're gonna go hang out at the beach for a little bit i'm gonna take some cute pics and look how cute this hat is i just got it off depop i freaking love depop like i literally buy everything from there um so check out my Depop store also. That'll be in my link tree down below. But I just got this. Isn't it so cute? And then tonight, we're going to downtown San Diego for my brother-in-law's birthday. And we're gonna go to Moonshine Flats. It's like a little country bar or something down there. We have like a big day ahead. This hat is so freaking cute. I'm literally obsessed with it. It's my colors. Ever since I found out I'm a dark autumn color palette. Is that a butterfly? I just, I'm stuck in those colors. Later that same evening. Bitch. Excuse me? sent me some hair extensions i have not used bellamy extensions in the last like few months honestly i was buying their sew-in extensions from my salon for like ever like i literally would still buy their product but i wasn't working with them i haven't worked with them since like 2020 so since i took out my sew-ins and i've been using amazon clip-ins they hit me up and they wanted to send me a pair of extensions so i have some clip-ins right here these are the silk seams so they have like the thinner band right here i way prefer these over the other ones but the other ones are good too we're gonna put in the extensions we're gonna do a hair style and I will show you guys how it works out. So I've been out and about at a coffee day and being all cutie and walking around Newport. It was really fun and I think I just forgot how badly I needed Bellamy extensions back and she's still so soft and good. Like you really cannot tell that this isn't my hair. Like they are so comfortable. They actually match really well with my hair now that I got it done. I'm um, in like toned and stuff. Like they match so good. These are the dark brown color, the silk seam. I'll show you guys how to put them in in like another part of this video but I just kind of wanted to show you like what they look like. I don't know if you can see I'm like literally wearing all black so that's not helping anyone but literally so good like slay thank you guys so much for watching please leave me some comments down below let me know how you're doing how you've been what you want to see from me on this channel i know i'm not very consistent and i probably never will be again so i'm not ever going to come on here and promise anything to you guys because i've been not very good recently my last video was like three months ago but I'm here every so often and I realize that like I just this is a creative thing for me This is when I feel inspired. This isn't something I can do on the daily. This isn't something I can do weekly I need to basically have time off from this to feel inspired and have new things to talk about because crazy stories don't happen to me anymore because my life is peaceful and I'm not a toxic person 
and I just vibe so there's not much to talk about um it is what it is and I love you guys so so much like thank you when you comment on my Instagrams and stuff being like when's your next video like we miss you we'll see anything from you like that gives me motivation that gives me hope to keep going and that I'll just keep randomly posting my life forever like who knows how long I'm gonna do this all of my big life updates I will share with you guys honestly but other than that, just know I'm chilling and vibing, and I'm mother freaking happy, and I hope you guys are too. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.